So here we are, we're in the Centropic Garden um, that we've done here, the trial. And it's exactly one year since we started. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is one of our new experiments. Um, Victoria is here helping me with a project to try a centropic agriculture field. Um, and she's saying I've given her some of the best soil in Zambia. You can see here, um, we've looked at it. And at this stage, it's, I can, can I can deeper. break a brand new <clears throat> lasher shovel because it's just like rock. It's not rock, but it's just very compacted. So we're gonna deep rip it and then we will see what we can do with biology. So what we've got going on here is we've put a lot of worm casting down in the rows. So this field was used for growing maize for you know 60 years. And so you can see um, quite degraded soil. And so uh, we've got worm castings going along and she's putting down some gypsum so that we can get the biology really kick-started in the, in the main rows. So the main planting is done as far as the the main rows. So you can see we've got the main rows done. Um, we definitely still have mulching to do. In between it, we've got oats and peas. And um, you can actually see that starting to sprout. See the oats starting to poke up right in there. And so basically, it's going to be a transitional forest. So it's still cold as everything and quite windy. But you can see I'm starting to get a little bit of tillering on the oats. Peas are happy with the cold. Buckwheat's not quite so happy with the cold. So you can see in here we've got cone style cabbages, um, fennel, um, lots of lots of celery. Uh, we really had a good crop of broccoli too. You'll see it coming here. So the next step for us is to go ahead and shift into warm season um, plants. And so uh, next thing up is for us to go ahead and, and slash down um, all the um, oats, rye, and peas and buckwheat and mulch in with that. Then we're gonna go ahead and plant in the panicum grass and we'll be planting in things like ginger, turmeric, um, papaya um, into the system. So that will be interesting. So here we are, we're in the field. You can see here, we've got the panicum maximum or Mombasa grass growing well. Um, one of the big surprises for me has been for biomass, the mulberry has been the very best um, plant in the system for us. You can see here in our first bananas that were planted, they're just starting to flower now. You see we got really good uh, color in the stems and this is completely organic. We've had nothing uh, applied. The only thing that's been applied um, organically has been the molasses and it was only planted applied a couple times in the grass when we were plant we grew peas and oats between the rows um, when we just planted last year but you can see here nice bunch sizes and really really happy so far with the bananas that are coming out of here or their um, setting so we'll be interested to see how the flavor profiles are as well um, you can see the Glaricidia in here uh, really underperformed. Uh, it is in the system, but not too spectacular. The comfrey has done very well. 
um, in here. And yeah, the Panicum has been amazing, the Panicum Maximum. Um, so really those have been some big winners in there. You can see we planted some um, solid stands of cassava on the other side. One of the things that's really been impressive has been the um, speed with which the Panicum Maximum recovers. This, this here was cut uh, just four days ago, and we're definitely getting a good meter, meter and a half growth out of it. So for mulching, it's been really fantastic because you can see here, you can get right in and be using that for mulch um, just all the time. And so we've got good buildup of that in the system. One of the areas we're playing with is the avocados in the system. And we definitely planted cassava too close to um, the avocados. And so we're in the process of cutting them way back. Um, pineapple has really responded well in here. We're gonna be interested to see how the fruits come off this year. And one of the biggest surprises was um, putting asparagus into the system. So asparagus, that asparagus was seed um, only a year ago, and we're already getting production like it's almost two years old. Um, this year we'll get uh, the good spears out of it, but the plants have been so happy uh, in the system. So this section we pruned back again um, last week, and so you can see here's the, the nice mulch from the Panica Maximum and the uh, uh, mulberries. And so you just can get in there and you can just see um, the soil and how happy the roots are. You can see banana roots, just really shallow. And the smell is kind of like um, a molasses-y um, smell, really sweet smell in there. And so these ones were some of the last ones planted. And so uh, we're still probably a couple of months from getting our banana flowers in these. Just pulled back some of that mulch, and you can see in here the soil. It's a big banana root there, and just look how good that is. So that's the rows um, that were built up, and so it's really maintaining the biology very nicely in there. Um, Comfrey's done very well. We we'll cut that back every few weeks, we'll apply it to the soil surface, and so yeah, we're excited to see how we can apply some of the principles learned in the trial here in some scale. So we'll be looking to do two side-by-side -side trial blocks of Centropic system um, focused on bananas um, in later in the year.